Just say when. Oh, are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> I said when. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm with you. Hi. Hi. It's so nice to be here at Kazam after teaching our, uh, well, I say teaching, but it's more like hanging out with each other, workshop, the making meaningful art. And those things are really valuable because I need to take the workshop too. Uh, I go through periods of doubt and confusion and everything too. Uh, having chose artwork to be the primary feature of my life. Um, we were talking about this morning weaving, you know, intentions and stuff in your art. And it sound, it's a lofty, cute thing to say. Uh, and then once in a while it kicks in and you go, oh, I really am doing that. I, and then there's some, usually some confirmation from the outside world that what's going on in your inside world is connected and related. Uh, do you remember John Lloyd? This amazing guy. He said, uh, he showed me this drawing. It's really cool. It's, uh, here, I'll show you this. This is awesome. So this is a way to weave in tension into your work. You, um, you weave intentions into your strokes. This one particularly is cool. It's with my thinking and my doing, I serve heaven. And with my doing and my thinking, I serve the earth. And you see the thinkings are inside the heaven of your head and the doings are inside the, the ground and the earth. And this idea, is um, really great to come back to and revisit, to say to, even if it's not true, you can, you can pretend it is. And I like living in a world where uh, my friends and I are magicians weaving reality. I think art is one of the fundamental functions of reality. In fact, we talked about that. Like every dollar bill is a work of art, literally. An artist made it. Uh, the camera you're holding started this existence as a drawing. Uh, sort of this shirt, Pepsi cans, buildings, they all begin their physical existence as drawings. And so artists and creative people are on, way more on the ground floor than I think we give ourselves credit for. And, um, you know, sometimes we were talking about suicide earlier. Sometimes, you know, this whole can seem really meaningless and choosing to make art <clears throat> injects meaning into it. So again, even if it's not real, I don't care. I love living in a world where, um, through my art, I'm shaping the reality around me. And I hope other people get something from that. Everyone in the class seemed to have a really great time. <laughs> Can you talk a bit about this piece? Yeah. Uh, this is the latest in my flow series. Uh, <clears throat> I never would have thought in a million years that I'd be making abstract-ish art uh, when I first started out, but I met a lot of uh, art abstract artists and whatever you know, spiritual drugs they're doing, I started doing it too, and now I'm addicted to making abstract and using it as a way. They, I, I also make more subjective work and other work, but this uh, beanstalk one is a recurring theme for me. So it's the spine, it's the individual, it's the past and future, it, it's the whole space of your mind, and these are the absurd and kooky and beautiful and distracting thoughts that get in the way for you to experience, you know, who you really are. Um, I call them beanstalks, like Jack and the Beanstalk climbed up one and, and got, you know, the treasure from the giant at the top. Um, and yeah, it's just a way for me to like sharpen my pencils. Hi. Hi. I, I saw you on the... Uh, yeah, the workshop really does me good because I'm reminded of all these very valuable steps in my life that I, I forget about. It's easy to forget about them because life is crazy. But I'm back baby. I'm making art for 20 minutes a day at least. 
and then sometimes that turns into nine hours. Those are my favorite days. But if it doesn't, you at least tried and put your work in. I choose a creative life, better or worse. Art is like cigarettes in that way. They're there for you in the good times, and they're there for you in the bad times. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Please come to Cosm and take my next workshop. Or if you're in the Denver area, we do them at Farina sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>